A decision tree classifier is a simple yet powerful machine learning algorithm for classification tasks. But what exactly is a decision tree? Let's look at an example. Here, I have a decision tree that predicts whether someone has lung cancer. Each node in the tree is either a decision node, which checks the condition, or a leaf node, which gives a final result, like cancer or no cancer. Each decision node poses a yes or no question. If the condition is true, the algorithm follows the left branch. If false, it goes to the right. To make a prediction for a person, you start at the root node and move down based on how the data matches the condition. When you reach a leaf node, that's your prediction. This tree wasn't built by hand. It was generated automatically from a large data set. But how? The computer starts by trying out different conditions as a root node and evaluates how well each one splits the data. To measure this, it uses something called Gini impurity. A Gini of zero means all samples belong to one class, while a higher value means the root contains a mix of multiple classes. The goal is to find splits in groups with a low Gini impurity, meaning more pure. Once the best root split is found, the tree continues to grow. At each branch, it tries different conditions and selects the one that results in the purest split. For numerical features, it tests multiple threshold values like age less than 45 and picks the cutoff that best separates the classes. The process repeats recursively until the tree hits a stopping point, like a maximum depth or a minimum number of samples per node. Follow for more quick explanations like this one.